Hey there, productivity champions. Feeling overwhelmed by project chaos? A sticky notes cluttered your desk? A spreadsheet multiplying like rabbit? And those never ending email threads? We've all been there. But guess what? Your days of project pandemonium are over. Welcome to Nimblegut, where we turn Notion newbies into productivity pros. In the next few minutes, we're going to show you how to build a project management system in Notion that's so sleek, so efficient, you'll wonder how you ever lived without it. Ready to transform your workflow and become a Notion ninja? Let's dive in and get nimble. So we're going to build a project management system like the one you see here. This is one of the most duplicated and loved Notion templates I built to date. It's not overly simple nor too advanced to confuse you when creating it with me. Basically, we can list our projects here and sort them by status. Then we can create tasks for each project and get a today or this month's view, table, Kanban, and per project views for each task. And last but not least, We'll create a timeline for our projects to visualize a start and end dates quickly. Before we begin, let's check the title of each database to understand how this system works. You can see we have one project database, one task database, and the timeline is just a view linked to the project's database. So we only have two databases in total. To start, I'll create a new page and name it whatever I want. You can't do the same. The first step is to create our gallery. Hit the slash key on your keyboard to open the Notion toolbox. You can also type gallery instead of browsing the toolbox. Select the gallery view, then click on link or create a database. And finally, click on new gallery, as this is what we need here, a fresh database. Right after creating the gallery, I'm going to the layout settings. I'll change the size of the cards and select none for the card preview. This makes the card smaller and doesn't show anything else. Then I select side pick for the open page in option. So every time I open a card in this gallery, it will slide in from the side. Now we're done with the layout for now. We now need to name our database. Then let's open one of the cards to add a few details we need for each project. First, let's choose a name for our imaginary project. We can name it project 1 or give it a cooler name like project X. It doesn't really matter. Next, we need a status property. Click on the add a property button to select from the list. Or simply type it, which is my preferred method. Once selected, the property is automatically filled with the necessary items we need. Not started, in progress, and done. We can also change the name of the property, but I leave it as is. Since it describes it function perfectly. Now let's move on to the next property. We need to create a timeline using a date property. We'll use this timeline for the timeline view of all projects. To do this, add a start and end date to the date property, and we're almost done. Another option we had in the template shown at the beginning was the link between projects and tasks. So I'll create a task relation to revisit later when we created the task database. Let's close this card and delete the extra cards we don't need right now to tie these things up. Before going any further, I've almost forgotten to set up the basics of our project management system. Click on the three dot icon in the top right corner of the page and toggle off the table of contents. Then click on customize page and turn off the backlinks. Set the page comments to minimal and turn off the top level page discussions. Lastly, toggle on the full width in the page settings to give ourselves a better dashboard view. Next, let's hide the database name. Then go to the tier dot icon of the database. Open the properties and click on the eye icon for a status, task, and timeline to make them visible in the gallery. This allows us to not just view but also change these properties without having to open the project. Before moving to the next step, let's choose an icon for our project.
Okay, good. Now, let's streamline the process of adding and defining new projects. Click on the Chevron icon next to the new button in our projects database. We're going to create a pre-made template within our system so that whenever we hit the new button, we don't have to start with an empty project. Click on new template and add a default name you'd like to see every time you create a new project. Choose your favorite icon, set the status to not started, and for the timeline, select today's date. Make sure to toggle on the end date as well. With our template ready, close the model. Click the chevron icon again, then click the three dot icon next to your new template and select set as default. You'll be asked whether you want to use this template as the default for all views in this database or just this one. For now, let's choose for all views so that every time you create a new project in this database, it'll use this template. Now, when we click new instead of an empty title and page, we'll get a copy of the template we created. Pretty useful, right? With our project set up, let's rename the gallery to all projects. Click on it, duplicate it, and change the name to not started. Go to filters, choose a status, and select the not started option. Duplicate this view again and repeat the process. By the way, we can quickly rename and change icons for these views, which I suggest doing as it provides visual cues for quick identification. Let's duplicate this view once more and name it in progress. Choose an icon for this too. Then select the filter again, remove the not started option, and choose in progress. You'll notice it shows nothing because we don't have any project with an in progress status yet. Let's create one. Now let's duplicate this view one last time. Name it complete or finished. Choose an icon and change the filter to show the complete status. Awesome, we've now set up our project views. Let's give the project section a heading. I'll do this with keyboard shortcut, but you can type a slash to bring up the menu and choose heading from there. Now that we have our projects database, let's create our task database. Shall we? Again, we'll add a title and name it tasks. This is for our tasks, obviously. Now we'll need another database, but this time with a table view. Type a slash, write table, and select the table view from the menu. Be careful not to select the simple table, which isn't a database and doesn't fit our goal here. Now I'll add four sample tasks. Task one, two, three, and four. I'll change the name, size, and icon of the property. Then, let's delete this pre-made property and create a status property. Our next property is date, which allows us to choose a deadline for each task. Now, the next property we need is a person property that allows us to assign people in our Notion workspace to each task. And now things get more serious, so pay attention friends. We want to add a relation between projects and tasks databases. So go ahead and add a new property inside tasks. Scroll down, down, and again down to reach the relation property. Did you reach it? Awesome. Now select it, find the project database name and select it. Toggle on Show on Projects Database and hit the blue button or, if you're colorblind, the Add Relation button. Now our databases are in a relationship. 
change the name of the relation property in your tasks if you want. It's not necessary at all. You can also pick an icon for it. And now when you click on property rows, you can select any projects from your projects database. Easy peasy, right? As you can see, we have our tasks database here. Let's rename it. Oops, let me just change the name of the task property I created earlier. So I can rename the relation property as we can't have two properties with the same names. Now allow me to select icons for all our tasks. What we need to do is just select all of them. Click on the three dot icon and click on edit icon so we can choose their icons. I said icons too many times. Notion really needs to add more searchable and related tags for each icon. Anyway, let's start these things up and create a new template to unify our tasks as well. Give the template a name, click on assign row and choose the person who duplicated the page and open the date property to select today. We don't need to touch the projects and status for now. Lastly, let's select the icon to finish our job here. Close the page and again set this template as default for all views in this database. So we can create new tasks with icons and our chosen settings quickly. Let's rename this view and then duplicate it to create different views for our tasks. First, let's create the Kanban view for all tasks. For the next one, we'll duplicate our Kanban. Change the name to By Project, then click on the three dot icon, go to Group and change the grouping from Status to Projects. Change the icon of the view if you want. and you're done. You can add as many views as you like with different groupings, filters, or sorts. Now let's make our timeline for the projects. Click on the All Projects tab and select Copy Link to View from the drop-down menu. Scroll down to find an empty space, paste the link wherever you want, and click on Linked View Database. Now we have a new view connected to our main projects database. This means any projects we add or delete here will be added or deleted from the main database as well. They'll be synced together. Click on the All Project tab, then Edit View, select Layout, and choose Timeline. We've now almost finished our timeline view for our projects. You can drag projects to change their start and end dates and link them with dependencies. Oops, this project's end date is out of range. Let's add a heading for our timeline section too. I'll name it Projects Timeline. You can create a timeline for tasks as well. Copy the link to view of the tasks. Paste it anywhere you want. Choose Link Database View and then change the layout to timeline. Just like we did for projects. Add a heading for the tasks timeline too. Now we can easily see our tasks on a timeline and move them around to create our perfect plan.
Now, before wrapping up, let me show you a quick but life-saving tip to prevent your page from slowing down when you have lots of projects. I didn't do this in the template, but I'll definitely include it in the next version. So let's get to it. Go ahead and click on the All Tasks view and hit Copy Link to View. Now scroll to the end of the page and create a new page. We can call it Database Source. Paste the link and click on the Link Database view. Let this database sit here while we return to the main page of our project management system. Repeat these steps for the projects database as well. Now add headings for each section to keep them organized. Then head back to the main page. Go to all tasks, click on the filter icon, Select date and change it to your desired period of time. I'll select this month. Then change the name of the view to this month. This allows me to clear my main page automatically and prevent it from getting crowded with all tasks and projects. Whenever I need to take a deep look at all my tasks, I can quickly go to the database source page. Repeat this process for the projects to filter them out from the main page. I can now choose an icon for our project management system to make it look even better. See how easy it was to create a simple yet powerful project management system inside Notion? Yeah, with Notion, anything is possible. The only limitation is your imagination. You can find the link to this popular and free Notion template on my website nimblegod.com. While you're there, check out 50 plus more Notion systems I've created to simplify your life. And there you have it. Fellow productivity enthusiasts, you've just unlocked the power of Notion with Nimblegod. Remember that project chaos we talked about earlier? It's now a thing of the past. Look at your shiny new Notion workspace. Pretty satisfying, right? But here is the real magic. This is just the beginning of your Notion journey. As you explore and customize, you'll discover even more ways to supercharge your productivity. So go ahead and give yourself a high five. You're not just managing projects, you're mastering them. If you're hungry for more Notion wizardry, hit that subscribe button and join our community of productivity powerhouses. Until next time, stay nimble, stay productive.